if you know you know now we all know if you from the states and you planning on going to the uk you better be knocking your opponent out or that better be in your plan because if not and the fight was closed then automatically the fight gonna go to your opponent that's from the uk that being said i don't believe this fight was a robbery i believe taylor won the fight i have to watch the fight again but one thing for sure the fight was way closer than the judges suggested i mean they had taylor dominating regress when that wasn't the case i believe it was a very close fight a very entertaining fight and when the judges score the scorecards that way and have taylor dominating the fight when the fight was close it just takes away from the victory for Taylor. However, a win is a win, and it was a great win. Taylor proved that he's the best 140 pounder. If you didn't join the tournament, then you didn't want no smoke. Taylor is hands down the number one guy at 140. I would love to see him versus Terrence Crawford. I would love to see him versus Lomachenko. I believe Taylor is the best talent coming from the UK. I believe Tyson Fury is one of the best also however he's been acting funny of late he even stated that he might retire after the wwe match and prior to that he even stated that wwe is more dangerous than boxing so that being said tyson obviously wilder have him shook and i lost all respect because He's not fighting the guys he should be fighting. And now he ain't even trying to fight Deontay Wilder the second time. When he claimed he won that fight with ease. However, Taylor, in my opinion, he showed that he could box. He showed that he could fight in the inside. He showed that he could pressure you. He, he showed that he could fight off the back foot. So he versatile and, you know, he like water. He adapts to whatever you bring to the table. Just like Bruce Lee said, when you put the water on the table it becomes the table if you put it on a cup it becomes the cup it adapts taylor that's what he showed that he capable of so i would like to see him versus crawford and a lomachenko i believe terence crawford will edge that fight however it'd be a good fight and in my opinion he beats a lomachenko i believe taylor beats a Lomachenko he has the style he has the power he has the skill and Lomachenko will never dare to hop in the ring with a Taylor keep in mind he claims that he want to go back to the UK and since he can't sell in the States I would love to see Lomachenko challenge himself and move up to the 140 pound and fight a prime Josh Taylor if he does that then he could prove that he pound for pound number one However, he would never dare to do so because he ain't trying to climb greatness the way Crawford is by trying to fight the best out there, and that's at Errol Spence. That being said, congratulations to Josh Taylor. He showed me a lot in this fight. He showed that he could adapt. He showed that he could fight different ways by pressuring a guy in the pocket like Regrius. Regrius, you know, he hit hard. He's 20 four and oh with 20 knockouts so the way he fought him as a taller fighter was very impressive to me that being said i would love to see josh taylor become undisputed then move up and challenge himself against a terrence crawford because terrence crawford was the last undisputed 140 pound champion and now josh taylor came out of nowhere everybody thought regress was gonna win the match and the tournament and he proved the world wrong and i told y'all it was a 50 50 fight i don't know who to pick because you know it was that type of a fight and y'all saw it tonight and joshua i mean josh taylor he showed that he has the kryptonite to beat a guy like lomachenko so i'm gonna talk about that on a different video however i have to go back and re-watch this fight in particular because I was just watching it and enjoying it at the same time I was in scoring while I was watching it. So I got to go back and watch the fight and best believe I will give y'all my takes on the fight and break it down to the T on Split Decision is a boxing debate show that I drop on my channel every 
Monday and I host it and drop it every Monday. So be on the lookout for the cookout. We back on the map. So, you know, I'm going to rewatch the fight. So i be more sure because I was too caught up at the moment enjoying the fight. So I'm not really going to talk about it much. I believe from what I saw is that Taylor pulled it off. But it was a very good fight and a very entertaining fight. And it was a close fight. Not how the judges had the fight score. That being said, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't listen to these casual fans. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live. And check out my guy Lunatune Boxing for the funniest boxing memes. And keep in mind to be on the lookout for Split Decision where I host it and drop it every Monday. That being said, peace and to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Thank you and we out of here.